Hi all. So my name is Venkateshwar Rao. Now I would like to discuss about tips and best practices for safer social networking in this session. Now before going to the tips and guideline for social networking websites, so email is the main medium where each and every user having a email and every communication mostly done through emails only. So immediately now I will stress upon what kind of security practices the user has to follow or implement for their emails. In this first obtain a comprehensive security software like anti-malware solution to protect your system as well as the email accessing from your machine. Install anti-malware solution or better antivirus solution to prevent from various malware attacks, spyware, adware and other malicious applications. And share your email address with only trusted sources. Be careful when opening attachments and downloading files from friends and family or accepting unknown emails. And keep watch for phishing scams and update your browsers where each and every browser coming up with phishing filters. Whenever you are accessing any phishing website, the browser will alert the user the visited website seems to be a phishing website and better not to provide any confidential or sensitive information like username and password of online banking account. And do not reply to any spam emails received in your email box. Create smart and strong passwords and follow the better secure password policy while creating passwords for your emails as well as online accounts. The strong passwords should contain multiple characters including capital letters, small letters, numerics and special characters and maintain the minimum length of the password and regularly change the password for your online accounts and don't use open Wi-Fi and unprotected computers for accessing emails and never enter your personal information into a pop-up screen whenever you are visiting any website many pop-ups will open and better configure your browser to block the pop-ups if some pop-up is necessary and wisely decide to allow such kind of pop-ups. Next use encryption and digital signatures for improved security of your emails. Now I am going to discuss about tips for socializing safely on the social networking websites and protect yourself from various kind of attacks and cyber security risks and various privacy concerns. And first of all, you should think about how different sites work before deciding to join a site. First understand what is the purpose of the website and what are the security measures were implemented and how you can create a secure account and other procedures and keep some control over the information you post on the social networking websites. Don't post every information and every moment of life on the social networking websites. Next, keep vital information to yourself. Do not post any private information or the information identifying yourself should not be posted on any social networking website. Make sure your screen name does not reveal too much about you. While keeping the screen names, just keep the name which does not reveal any identifiable information about you. That information may be used by miscreants to map certain attacks on 
your personal information infrastructure and post only information that you are comfortable with others seeing and knowing about you. Next, remember once your information is posted, you cannot take it back. Someone can forward this information and billions of people have access to that once it is uploaded onto the social networking platform. And consider not posting your pictures. Wisely decide what kind of pictures to post and where. Don't flirt with the strangers online. You may not know who is sitting the other side. So that is why you should be very much be careful and aware and secure while chatting with strangers or interaction with strangers. Next, I am going to discuss about tips for parents to have some control over their children's online activity. So parents should use the internet with your children and teach your children never to give out personal information to any unknown persons or on any websites online and instruct your child never to plan a face-to-face -face meeting or video calling with online acquaintances which are not very much close to you or your family or your circle and establish clear ground rules for internet use within your family and tell your children not to respond if they receive offensive or dangerous email, chat requests or other types of communication and to tell you when this occurs. So this kind of things usually happens with children whenever they are online because internet it is a vastly scattered and from many sources children use it to receive various friend requests and various emails and some emails may contain some obscene content or material which children are not supposed to view or see that material. Place your computer in a room that's open and accessible to all family members to have a better visibility of your children's online activity. And next consider installing software filters that prevent your child from entering personal information. Whenever children is trying to give or divulge any personal information, the software itself will prevent sending remotely. Many networking sites have valuable safety information. Create awareness to your children about the safety features and the security features already available and provided by the providers of social networking websites. And next I am going to mention some of the tips for youth who are the main target by the cyber criminals. Youth should remember your profile is on a public space. Everybody should aware whatever you are entering or posting or uploading that is for public and your circle or group, the people in your group or someone else from outside can easily view that information. People are not always who they say they are. Wisely identify and detect based on their behavior who is sitting other side while you are interacting. Harassment, hate speech and inappropriate content should be reported. Tell your parents or an adult if this happens. Hate speech and uploading or viewing inappropriate content is an offense and it will come under the cyber crime acts. There may be punishment also for this kind of sharing or uploading any hate speech and inappropriate content. 
Don't mislead people into thinking that you are older or younger than you really are. Don't post anything that would embarrass you later. Better exercise while uploading content wisely and upload only the required. Always follow your family's rules for using the internet. Follow the restrictions placed by parents and don't bypass any of the applications installed in the system which is using for internet to control this kind of activities. Don't open up emails, files or web pages that you get from people you don't really know or trust. Many emails may contain malicious attachments or unwanted files which may harm your system or damage your system. Later, it may pose a serious security threat to your existence online. Don't ever do anything that could cost your family money unless your parents are there to help you do it. Don't ever give out your password or any of the login credentials or online account details or any sensitive personal confidential information to unknown persons or known persons or online or post public. Next, so I am going to stress upon best practices for safer social networking. Use strong, unique password. Don't use the same password on multiple sites. Don't use email ID password on social networking sites. Provide as little personal information as possible. Avoid revealing birth date, address, etc. This information may use to recover your password by unknown persons. With this, if you are providing the real data or correct data to the public, there may be a chance for miscreants to use this data to launch these kind of attacks on you. Understand and customize the privacy settings in all your social networking accounts. Each and every social networking website or application is coming up with already defined security and privacy settings. Better to have good understanding what kind of settings are required to be safe from online threats that need to be applied immediately on the first go. Don't allow third party applications to access your information. This kind of best practices is also applicable for your mobile activity. Each and every application may ask more permissions than required. So better wisely think upon what application requesting what kind of permissions. Based on that, decide yourself whether the permission can be given allowing that application to access your information. And be careful about what you post. Photos of self or others opinions on controversial topics, don't rip classmates, professionals, co-workers and employees etc. This kind of activity may attract your friends ill or some other problems which may cause or harm your reputation. Don't post anything related to your employer unless you are authorized. Supervise your kids use of social networking sites. Be suspicious of friend or follow requests, ads, third party applications, chat messages, etc. Minimize exploration. Don't carelessly click on lots of ads, videos, games, etc. While you are online, many pop-ups used to appear on the screen and those may be due to various kind of adverse to collect your surfing habits and there may be other ads which may be officially coming on the website. So better exercise caution 
while clicking on any of the pop-up or ad or video and use built-in and add-on features in web browsers to warn you of malicious sites like anti-phishing filters and up-to-date web browsers like Internet Explorer, Firefox and Google Chrome and Web of Trust in many of the web browsers and no script in Mozilla Firefox which will prevent dangerous scripts to execute in the browser or on your machine. Adblock Plus. This Adblock Plus will third party add-on will block the ad services and unnecessary annoying ads. Preview features of bit.ly tiny.url. This feature if you install and enable it you can see the what is the hidden URL behind the shorter URL which you receive either an email or message or any social network post. Trend Micro Web Reputation Service is your friend to prevent many attacks. Google yourself and scrutinize the result which one is real and genuine and which one is fake. Finally, just whenever you are clicking, just wisely think before you click on anything. And just I am just giving some certain some guidelines to establish corporate social media policies. There should be always a well-defined social media policy for the organizations or any corporate agency where their employees are using internet and they are allowed to access social networking websites. There should be a separation of social network policies and general technology policies and make all employees aware there is no exception of privacy when using the resources and try to address privacy and data security in policies and consider prohibiting the use of social media to harass, discriminate or violate the law and make all employees aware of the disclosure employees must include when using social media. These policies should be written, implemented and continuously monitored. I am going to give some guidelines for children's for online safety from related to online games or challenges. So this thing I am just giving these guidelines by keeping in mind of Blue Whale Challenge where it created a lot of havoc on the social media and in print media also and different incidents were reported on the print media where certain youth have taken life threat because of this challenge. So having correct information about an issue is extremely important and the media reports on this issue do not make it clear that the role of this game or challenge in the recent cases were reported has not been verified yet. Your child probably knows about the blue whale challenge because of the media frenzy around this issue. There is a need to take certain measures to inform children and interact with them to avoid any mishaps. And next make sure that your child has access to age appropriate online sites which do not promote unethical behavior or violence. And always ensure that your child accesses internet from a computer placed in the family space. Talk to your child more often, explore the online world together and engage in interesting activities demonstrating ethical and safe online behavior. This will create awareness for your children and they will themselves will be aware of all these kind of and various sorts of online dangerous attacks and they themselves will apply their mind to protect themselves. Use parental controls on all the devices used by your child. Monitor the screen time and keep an eye on his or her online activities. 
be a role model to your child be cautious of your own online activities talk to other parents share concerns if any and discuss best ways to help your children if some abnormal behavior you are observing keep yourself updated with recent internet phenomena what is happening around the world and observe your child's behavior closely be alert to any unusual change like moodiness less or no communication lack of interest in studies and falling grades if you are notice any such changes closely monitor his or her online activities talk to school authorities or consult a child psychologist if you find out that your child is already playing the blue whale challenge immediately stop him or her from using the internet from any device either a mobile or laptop or desktop or any other devices or from their friends devices inform your local police authority about what has happened and seek their advice on the next safety measures and similar guidelines and best practices is applicable for all the kind of online game challenges which may harm your children's career and life threat to them if they start indulge in these kind of game challenges and tips in this momo game the momo that online challenge is also spreading malware via these online social networking websites and whatsapp instant messaging applications from this protect your devices hackers use these kind of malware in these kind of games to steal information and to gain access to the rest of your home network where they can access details like passwords and credit cards installing anti malware will keep your devices virus free and block the bad guys from accessing personal data don't talk to strangers online it will solve many of the problems use content filtering to control access not everything online is suitable for children so you must block access to the most questionable content you can teach kids to avoid the worst stuff but games like momo will try and trick them into seeing unacceptable inappropriate websites and images for better understanding and awareness you may advise your children and you also advise to visit and create awareness on these kind of social online games and challenges nationalonlinesafety.com this website contains many of the resources which may help to create awareness to the children and parents and adults as well now i am going to discuss about if you face any issue of this social networking websites while you are using with your own account if you are facing any abnormal behavior or suspicious activities in your account or some other things which are very much suspicious and which are normal and how you can solve these kind of issues and how you will report this kind of abuse reports to social networking websites so each and every user can resolve their own problem of this abnormal behavior or taking control of your account by someone else and each and every social networking website or platform providing an option to report any abuse complaints against your accounts <clears throat> and you may also contact so you may also contact the government agencies for help if you face any kind of security issues like hacking of your account or compromising of your credentials or if you find any fake accounts 
in your name which is resembling your exactly your accounts. Ministry of Home Affairs and the Government of India deals with every type of internet or cyber crime issues. Your local law enforcement agency is the first resource and it is, a, is the best resource to lodge or file a complaint if you really face any kind of such issue. And report at cyber crime cell or nearest to you related to your state or region. The cyber crime cell will take care about these kind of incidents or cyber crimes or online frauds and provide the solution or advice. And uh, you may also lodge uh, or file a complaint online at swikon.gov.in website or another website digitalpolice.gov.in. This website will provide you guidance and help what kind of complaint and give all the relevant details observed by you while lodging a complaint that will help the investigation agency to support you in a better way. Now I am going to give basic tips for how to restore or recover if any of the account, accounts of your social networking websites got hacked or compromised. And now coming to first Facebook that is the most popular social networking website where each and every user having Facebook account. In this, there are several instances or cases where account, Facebook account got hacked and your credentials got changed and that account is used by some unknown person for malicious purposes. In this kind of scenario, you can recover or restore your account by your own by seeking help from the same soft networking provider Facebook. In this just go to help option on the Facebook homepage and go to a report something option and select that. After selecting report something option so click on don't have an account option because your account is not in your control now. And in the next step, among us the given options, don't have an account heading, select how do I report harassment or abuse on Facebook if I don't have an account. And in the next step, click on the link, fill out this form provided by the web page in the next step and mark the option my account is hacked. And in the next step, click on the link get help securing your hacked account and select an option my account is compromised. And in the next step, give any of the information like your email, phone number or your hacked username or full name and further provide the security question mentioned at the time of your Facebook account creation. This process will help you to restore or recover the hacked account by an unknown person. And next, I mention few steps to report a fake account on Facebook if the person already has an account. Suppose if I have a Facebook account, there may be a chance that similar kind of account may be created by someone else with fake names. And in this scenario, just you can lodge a report on the Facebook itself to resolve the issue. In this also just go to the home page of the facebook.com website and go to help option at the bottom of the Facebook home page and select report something option on the button left on the same page and in the next step among the given options on the left side of the page select report a violation. If you select this report a violation option, then another list of options will appear. Choose the option how do I report a fake account that's pretend to be me 
If I don't have Facebook account, then click on file report. After clicking the file report option, another new page will appear among the given options situations. Choose the relevant category. In this case, someone created an account pretending to be me or a friend. Select this option and in the next step, it would ask you have Facebook account or not. Choose yes because I have a Facebook account and somebody has created a resembling account which is called fake account and malicious posts are posted by that miscreant on this account. Indirectly, it is damaging the account holder's reputation. And in the next step, click on the link, learn how to take action. On clicking, another page will appear. On this page, click on the report the timeline. On selecting report the timeline, display another page and wisely follow the steps mentioned on the page. The steps will narrate you what to do next. And after that, click on finish and the issue will be resolved after some time. And this page will indicate the how to report violation in the Facebook. In the next scenario, I am explaining about the steps how to recover or how to report a fake account on Facebook if the person does not have any account. Let us assume if I don't have a Facebook account, but some unknown person has created an, a Facebook account on my name by using my information or some fake information. This will indirectly affect me and my reputation because the miscreant or unknown person may post objectionable or harm content in this account. In this scenario, we can visit a defined Facebook link where you can report a, face, a fake account. In that, click on don't have an account option among the list of options on the provided on the left side. And in the next step, under the don't have account option, choose the second option that is how do I report a fake account that's pretending to be me if I don't have Facebook account. And then click on the file report option. And in the next step on clicking file report option below, another page will appear. Among the following given situation, choose the third category, someone created an account pretending to be me or a friend. It would ask if you have Facebook account or not, choose no. And in the next step, put a check on, I am the person being impersonated and give full details with the valid government provided ID proof to identify yourself that information related to you and that Facebook account is a fake account created by someone else. Facebook authorities will decide on the provided details and they will resolve the issue. And this page will display all the required information and procedure to report a violation. And now I am going to give a simple steps to recover a LinkedIn hacked account. LinkedIn is another popular social networking website which will build professional careers and contacts. And first, try to sign in with a, a different email address that's associated with your account if your account is has already hacked or compromised. If you can't remember your password, click on the forgot password link and follow the instructions provided by the web page. Password reset link will be sent to the address you entered. That address or email which should be in your control and you must have valid access to that email to reset your password through the link provided your, to your email address. And check your junk email folder if you don't get the reset message. 
Normally, the reset message will be received by inbox of the email account which you have provided just earlier. And sometimes the email providers may put some restrictions where all the emails won't uh, land in inbox and some of the emails will go to junk folder as well. If you don't receive the password reset message, it means we don't have that email address in our records. If your email address is not in their LinkedIn authority records, so and you may not get the uh, password reset link. Once you successfully sign in, add another email address to make sure you can always access your account in the future if any this kind of com account compromise or hacking happened on the original account. And next I am discussing about the procedure, stepwise procedure to restore Twitter hacked accounts. Twitter is another popular microblogging website which is of source network website to post any tweet or follow any of your interested professionals or VIPs or some other experts. In this first visit the support.twitter.com website. From there select policies and violations from the given options. And in the next step select report a violation from the options given in the left pan of the opened page. And in the next step under the report violations violation select my account has been hacked then another page will appear and that page contains steps to what to do next and in the next step click on the link password reset form on clicking it the following phase would be displayed and fill in the details like username email address or phone number to complete the task and the, the Twitter officials will come back to you after resolving the issue. And this page shows how to recover the Twitter account which will show you and narrate you the steps to follow. And restoring YouTube account. YouTube is another kind of social media website which contains different categories of videos and any user can post a video and watch a video and make some comments or likes or other comments. And in the step one, go to YouTube main page and click on the can't access your account. In the next step, give your YouTube username or Gmail address. And in the next step for resetting the password, enter the alternative email address which you have used whenever you created account. Link would be sent to the given address and visit the link and change the password. In this way, you can very easily restore your YouTube account. And this page shows the necessary steps to recover or restore your compromised or hacked YouTube account. And restoring Gmail account which was hacked by some unknown person. Gmail is a popular mail service used by many users around the world. In this, go to Gmail homepage and click on the can't access your account. And in the next step, select the third category, I am having other problems signing in and provide the Gmail or username. Among the categories mentioned in the next page, select I think someone else is using my account. And in the next step, click on the link if you can't access your account. And in the next step, visit the link with an option password assistance page or reset the password. On clicking the link, the page will appear with some message and mention your email address in that page. And in the next step, select any of the recovery options, either alternate email ID or mobile number you provided at the time of creation of your account to get the verification code for resetting the password. If in any case you are not able to access any of the recovery options, 
click on verify your identity and click on the link and answer the security questions and prove your identity the security questions are very important and you should keep very known question to you at the time of creating the account this kind of security question will help you in recovery process whenever you face any abnormality or compromise or hacking of your online account and in the last step the link of resetting your new password will send to the email id provided in the account recovery form and uh, this page will narrate you the steps to follow to recover the hacker gmail account and restoring hacked yahoo email account yahoo is another service which provided email services this is also another popular email service provider many users having yahoo email accounts as well in this visit the yahoo home page and click on i can't access my account then select the option where my account is compromised is displayed and give your yahoo email id whichever is compromised and now for resetting the password it would ask to enter alternate email id or the secret question which you mentioned at the time of yahoo account creation choose any of two if email address chosen link would be sent to the given address visit the link and change the password and this page will narrate you the steps along with authentication with captcha and many users used to receive several emails and users may be in confusion or to identify or distinguish which email is genuine and which email is a fake email a spam email or spoofed email so to identify yourself and trace from where the mail has sent and whether really the user sent this mail is a legitimate user or not and how you can verify this for this there is a website called cyberforensics.in where you can set an online email tracer to trace the email to identify the origin of the email and which route it has taken and what are the mail services and who are the service provider and ip address of the system where the email created and generated so all this information you can get by visiting this website and you can identify the email header from your received email email header is a, a very vital information where it contains from where the email generated and what is the ip address of the system and how many hops in between it is visited traveled from source to destination you can easily very easily identify the email header information by clicking on various options of the received email which is provided on the right side and select full headers information and copy the text into some text file or word file and upload that content to the cyberforensics.in website and it will give you the analysis details of the email header from that you can easily distinguish whether it is really a legitimate email or a fake email or spoofed email this is the website where cyberforensics india which can be used for many other services as well to identify or investigate or to do basic investigations on various cyber crimes Thank you.